I don't have much to say about the tenure of President Trump. As for his leadership qualities, even some of his ardent supporters would have to admit that so far he's been inept. In eight months in office, he's introduced no major legislation and hasn't been able to put together the warring factions of his party. This isn't surprising. Anyone with an inflated ego and no experience in government would have done exactly the same. On a bureaucratic level, he's been more effective. He systematically dismantled many of Obama's regulations and promises to dismantle more. This isn't surprising either. If there is any thread that runs through his administration, it is loyalty to the promises that he made during his campaign. What worries me is a historical parallel and a fear of those who will come after him. Though I'm no expert in Roman history, and many commentators have also begun to see these parallels, I'm particularly interested in the years when the Roman Republic ran out of steam, Julius Caesar took over, and was followed by Augustus, who ruled for 40 years. The Senate was weak. The empire was hard to govern. The existing structure wasn't up to the task. The time was right for efficiency and centralized power, someone who could get things done. Augustus was the man. A brilliant administrator, he paid lip service to democratic principles while restructuring the whole government in his image. The US Congress is similarly weak. It has changed from an organ that initiated legislation to one that waits for the executive to draft bills. In the last two years of the Obama presidency, Obama gave up on Congress completely and handed down one executive order after another. In a sense, Obama was Trump's mentor. There is an American Augustus waiting in the wings who almost ran for president in 2016. Michael Bloomberg, three-term mayor of New York and, according to Wikipedia, the 10th richest man in the world. Though a liberal on social issues, Bloomberg was criticized for centralizing public education and encouraging vast real estate development that neglected to provide housing for the middle class and the poor. But more worrisome were his autocratic tendencies. Though New Yorkers were limited, New York mayors were limited to two four-year terms, he petitioned the city council to change the rule and to allow him to run again. Needless to say, he got his way. There's no guarantee that Bloomberg will run in 2020 or that if he wins, he'll use his power autocratically. There are several potential candidates who are more troubling than Bloomberg. But I worry that we're on a downward slide away from representative government toward a time when we almost long to put ourselves in the hands of a strong man. After Augustus, there were several competent emperors, but the Senate and the other representative bodies became powerless parodies of themselves. I would not like to see that happen again.